friends this is smita a personal empowerment life coach and an executive coach and today we are going to talk about the four digital decluttering activities to do in 2022 you must be familiar with decluttering your room and your house to make them presentable this decluttering also helps in making sure that you maximize the uses of your total house or a particular room while ensuring that no unwelcome guests are living in that clutter pile this is also the case with your digital workspace we are almost at the last quarter of 2022 and decluttering your digital workspace has become more important than ever why because you need to organize all of the hundreds and thousands of files that you process every day so that you can easily find them and work on them in the future this also reduces any future stresses that is stressful conditions that you might find yourself in and if you are a sort of digital slob who has piles and piles of files smothering each other in their workspace then that is completely normal and you are not alone so how can we clean our workspace how clean is clean and what are the things that we have to clean let's look at these four activities number 1 organize your google drive or the drive that you use for your office work i'll talk about google drive here as a general generalization google drive is something that most of us use on a daily basis either professionally or personally to share data and store information Google gives users 15 GB of cloud storage where you can store all your professional files. That is usually enough unless you are a video editor or make videos those 4K types of videos. In that case you are a power saver and this tip is not for you. But if you are like me you will have so much space to store your files but more often than not you tend to store a single file multiple times in the storage on multiple locations this makes your drive filled with multiple copies of documents many version, version, versions that have outlived their utility in the first place also when you store so many files in your google drive it can be really hard for you when you try to find a specific file in your system without going through the search bar so to make your dashboard more open and specific to your work you can change your default home page from my drive to priority in the settings panel of your drive this will keep you less overwhelmed when seeing so many different items in your drive dashboard your your dashboard or rather your setting will custom tailor the page according to your needs and requirements one less stress to do in a day the second activity empty email inboxes if you are a professional or if you are a human in 2022 i can safely assume that you have about 3 to 4 email accounts at your disposal at least two of these four email accounts were created by you at some point of time in the past and quite honestly you don't ever use all the email accounts at the same time so if you are someone that uses many email accounts every single day in your life then you should empty your email inboxes for that matter even if you use only one personal email account and one official email account you should still empty your email inboxes to be more efficient relax i'm not saying that you should delete every unread and read the mess- unread message that is in your inbox you need to carefully select the message so that you don't lose anything important start with your personal account first the ones that you use now not the ones you created in the past when you have the emails in your sites there are here are the three to four options that you have to look out for number 
you can search for emails older than 90 days that have been sitting in your email inbox and delete them accordingly. Number two, you can search the emails by a specific name so that if you don't want to see emails from a specific person or company, you can easily ignore them. Number three, you can search for large files that are over 90 MB of space and delete them to free up a lot of space in your cloud email storage. Number four, you can flag promotions and social emails from your inboxes so that whenever they are directed to your email inbox, they go straight to the spam folder and are deleted in 30 days automatically. So easy, isn't it? The third activity, cleanse your social feeds. We all use social media, no doubt about it. But it's the way that we use the social media that is going to determine whether it adds value, productivity and efficiency in our lives. If you are really serious about decluttering your social media or at least cleansing your life from some toxicity, you should consider deactivating your accounts for a few days or so. But if you're like me, and need to use social media on a regular basis, then here are a few things that you can do to make a positive impact in your life. One, you should like and follow inspirational people that actually inspire you either to get your work done and or or to live your life in a more meaningful way. When you do that, the algorithm of the app is going to serve you similar content creating a chain of positivity. Number two, unfollow all the accounts, people and brands that you know are not good for you and are not providing any value to your life whatsoever. Number three, delete all the irrelevant groups and accounts that you have had from your old college campuses, from your school days or old neighborhood com communities because they were a part of your past life. Your past does not define your future and you want, on to, want to move on to bigger and better things. Number four, the fourth and the last activity in digital declutter. Clear the downloads folder. One of the most common dwellings of digital clutter in your workplace is your downloads folder. This folder has all the different files and extensions that you have downloaded to your computer they might include PDF downloads or duplicate screenshots of the various things that you might have performed for your work or personal things. So the best decluttering process that you can use is that you can sort the different files and folders according to their type, data or some other option that you might have in your system so that everything is compiled together and there are no stragglers in the folder. This will help you reduce redundancies and even help you locate and delete the files that you don't want to keep in your workplace at all. That was all for today, friends. If you found the video to be of some value, do like and comment on the video and share it within your network. I'll see you the next time. Until then, bye-bye.